Welcome back, Flash Cats. Looks like it's another episode of Volcano Block. That is right. Guys, I've been doing lots of work since our last episode. Let's come over here and take a look. We got another portal going. You can see my pickaxe here. Uh, it's got a diamond on it. That we basically just did by putting our pickaxe in here and changing the head to a diamond pick. Took a couple diamonds. I've had to repair it a couple times as well. Uh, some other things you'll notice since the last episode. Ow! Yeah, running over lava like that hurts a little bit. Uh, all of our time watches are... That's not what they're called. What are these called again? Our glasses of nostalgia. That's what they're called. Have been processed. Uh, I went through and threw the ancient cobblestone into lava. And then took that lava... Or lava, not lava... Uh, cobblestone, the geodes that came out, used the hammer, went through like four or five hammers, and now we have some stuff. I will show you a little bit of that stuff here in a moment in terms of numbers. The other thing I did between episodes, and I warned that I was going to do this, uh, a lot happened between episodes. I went, build this little room, and what this room is, is this is my burst seed room. So you'll see... Crystal burst seeds, sand burst seeds, dirt burst seeds, stone burst seeds, and gravel burst seeds. Uh, these are all the ones that we can craft right now. Uh, I've got a couple more nether crystals, which I actually realized was a quest. Um, basically, we just take one of the regular crystals that come in the crystal block, and you toss it straight through the nether portal. Uh, you'll notice in this pack, let's come back over to the nether portal here. Uh, if I stand in here... Nothing happens. It's not taking me anywhere. That's because there is no access to the nether here. It's a little bit sad, but this does give us access to a speedy hopper. So let's go grab a couple things. Um, we are going to come up here to our new area that I made. Uh, I made some storage drawers for those of you that haven't used storage drawers before. Let's take a look at the recipe. Storage drawer. Oops. One second. At storage drawers. Uh, for a basic drawer, that takes one chest, or a crate, and six planks. Uh, that makes these down here, and then these up here are basic two by twos, which are just a few more chests and five planks instead. So, let's talk about all the stuff that we got in here. We talked about all the different kind of burst seeds that we can get. So, cobblestone we get from our cablonia seeds. Stone, we got from the burst seeds. Sand, lots from the burst seeds. Gravel, need to do some work. Oh. Oops. I kind of thought there was something I was missing. I guess I did not need this one. So, put a little bit in there and take it back out. Uh, we'll put it in here where it belongs. And then, dirt. You'll see some of these have locks on them. I made a drawer key. This basically locks and unlocks the drawers, so if you take everything out, like we did with the dirt, it'll still keep the picture and still deem that this is the dirt drawer. Uh, we have 233 crystal blocks, which again, made a bunch of them via the burst seeds. You place a burst seed, you get 10 plus, it only costs 9. So, you get 10, you break down one of those into more of the shards, which we have over here, and then those shards make more burst seeds. So let's take a look. We've got mid, uh, around 30 to 40 of these, and then 30 to well, almost 40 to 50 of most of them except the purple one. The purple one has been used in a few of the burst seed recipes, uh, so it's gotten a little more use than the rest. The other thing, I mentioned that I went and processed the geos. So, we have 55 gold ingots, we have 98, uh, what is this, aluminum, we have 151 iron, we have 96 copper, and 82 silver. We've got almost 500 regular lapis, 65 pristine, we've got 63 diamonds, 51 pristine diamonds, we've got 28 emeralds, 70 pristine emeralds, and then we've got a bunch of redstone and flint. I also took some time to make a bunch of heavy ingots as well. Uh, 
That way, when we need that, we've got it. All of this is coming from the burst seeds, which is awesome. It's a super good way to get a bunch of resources. So with that, let's move on to the next thing we're gonna need. So the next thing we're making is a rock core. Compressed clay can be acquired by using a shard of the root of life on a rock core. Well, to make a rock core, we need some heavy ingots, we need some gravel, and we need some stone. Well, this is easy enough. One, two, three, four. And then take a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and let's make a rock core. Rock core. All right. Uh, that's a rock core box. So we'll make four of these. And then put the rest of these away. Let's take a look. What else did it want us to do? It wanted us to use a shard of the root of life on these and that will give us compressed clay. So if we take a look, uh, shard of the root of the life is this blue one, so we'll grab four of those. And if we place rock core here, shard of the root of the life, and I believe, let's take a look at the compressed clay. I believe there was something, was there something I needed to set next to this? No, uh, that is later on. So what we'll do is we will actually place more of these and there we go this will give us our compressed clay quest complete rock core we're gonna make some huge progress today guys this gives us five levels of xp which is super helpful uh, all of these are now ready to go and we'll turn these into regular clay and I'm gonna turn one into pieces of clay that way we can come here place that there uh, oops and place this here. Now, let's take a look at what's next. We're gonna to need to make some amplifying tubes, two of them to be specific, which each requires six heavy ingots and three glass. Well, let's grab 12 heavy ingots here. See, good reason I made more. Uh, do we have any glass? Let me come down here and check if we have glass. I can't remember if we made any uh, in between episodes or not. Do I have any? I do, good. All right, let's take this, uh, put that there, balance the grid, and then put the glass here. Two amplifying tubes. Grab the glass back out, put that down. All righty. Amplifying tubes give us two more amplifying tubes. All this is coming together to make a sewer blocks. The only way to acquire clay at this point is via compressed clay. Once you have your raw Asua blocks, you can convert them to Asua blocks by placing them underneath a stack of amplifying tubes. Between two and eight of them, more is faster. If it is working, you should see particle effects. Well, to make Asua blocks, we need raw Asua. For raw Asua, we need a mysterious dust block, crystal blocks, and a clay block. Well, everything except for the mysterious dust block we have quite a bit of. Uh, we'll use the rest of our Mysterious Dust here to make four blocks of that. We will head this way. Grab four blocks of clay. And four crystal blocks. Four, four, four. This gives us 12 Asua blocks. Now, where do we want to place this? Uh, I don't think we really have anywhere down there that I want to do this, so let's do it, uh, do it right here. So we're going to place that, uh, I actually need to jump up on the wall here, two, three, four. You see the particle effects going, that means this is getting converted, which is exactly what we're wanting. So while we're looking at that, let's take a look at the quest above it. Wooden crate, it's going to be four pieces of wood, four planks, and a chest. While that's going, let's go get that taken care of. Uh, we might need to grow a tree here. I can't... Yeah, we've got some planks. Uh, let's put our crate in here. Take a look again. So we needed four planks, and... Looks like we don't have any wood there. So, sapling. Grab it. Oops. We want those. Thank you. 
We're gonna come over here to this area we've been growing things in. Oh! And it looks like I crashed, so I will be right back, guys. Alright, guys, the game is loaded back up, and we got a tree grown. I have started noticing that this pack is a little bit, uh, prone to crashing lately. I had a stream world that actually ended up getting corrupted uh, and had to back up from a file. Lost about an hour's worth of time on that one. Uh, so let's put one of these in here. Uh, make that two because we're going to need enough for a chest as well. There's one. Let's make that chest. There we go. Grab this back out. Need a little bit more. And let's make our crate. Wooden crate. Quest complete. Alright, I'm not a big fan of using these as opposed to the uh, storage drawers. To each their own though, each mod has its benefits and drawbacks. So, let's take a look at our quest. Uh, as I said, we reloaded, so let's get that back. Uh, gave us another wooden crate. Again, just going to put that in there. Put our wood away. Uh, and a couple other things. So let's come back up here and see if our Sewell block uh, ended up getting crafted. Well, I don't see any particles and I see an a Sewell block. There we go. So let's place another one of these right about there. And that is another quest complete. This gives us a couple bits of fudge. We'll put those in our hot bar to start eating those. All right, now the next things we can make are the solid fuel arrow heater or some straw golems. Well, for straw golems, we're going to need a few things. First off, we're going to need an area for them to be safe in, uh, but we will go ahead and craft it because we've got the materials. Let's grab a pumpkin here, and then we need nine wheat. Uh, grab that. Come over here craft the nine wheat into a block and you can either craft it like this to get a spawn a straw golem or you can just place it in the world um, but what happens here is if we place this guy uh, let's place him there he's gonna start harvesting resources now that's unfortunate uh, Golem Corpse, I hope you feel bad. Yeah, they only have half a heart of health. So make sure when you're uh, placing them, they're not in danger. I didn't think he was going to die that quick, but yeah. Uh, so we will... Oh, we got a wonderful friend for him. Uh, we will end up making things a little bit safer for our Straw Golems later. So, with that, we can now make either the Gravity Block... Uh, which is fairly simple to make. Uh, need some asul and some stone. Let's go ahead and make that. And again, we'll use these. Uh, we're going to need quite a bit of this. How much do I have? 17? That should be enough. So let's come back in here and make the gravity block. And we'll talk about what it does in a moment. So we need an Asul machine casing, which needs Asul. And I'm probably saying that wrong. I, I, I know, guys. Probably am. Uh, come back here, make a heavy block, and we'll make our gravity block. Uh, I need four more stone. Probably going to have to use some more stone burst seeds soon. All right, so let's talk about this guy. Gravity block. He is going to draw items towards him. He's got a pretty good range, and he's what we're going to actually use for each of our farms. Now, the important thing here is we're going to actually craft him into four mini gravity blocks. They only have a range of six, but since we have four farm plots and they're only this big, those will work for us, which is good. Uh, this tray that it gives you as a reward, um, let's go ahead and place another one of these down. Uh, place that, place this here. Let's say we only want it to grab wheat. If I throw this gravity block down, it's not going to do anything. If I throw the wheat though, it's going to drag it towards it. 
So each of our farms will end up having these on them to determine what we actually want them to grab. Uh, a lot of the times with the wheat farm, I end up just telling it to grab the wheat and the seeds are not super important. You can get seeds really easily. Uh, but again, we'll set up the farms probably in a future episode. For now though, let's take a look at our solid fuel aero heater. We're going to move that into the side here. Uh, you guys see the rune of water, which is uh, the crafting on the left hand side continues through worlds. Uh, so the water rune was what we were working on in the stream. So we're going to need two Asul blocks. We're going to need six pink composite bricks and a crystal. Well, let's come over here and grab this Asul block and start working on the next one. Right there. Move these out. We're going to put our heavy ingot back because I don't think we needed any of those, right? Yeah, so we're going to need some Mysterious Dust, some Sand, and some Pink Dye. And we're going to need one of these. Uh, Alright, so let's take a look at this. So we're going to need these two, and the Pink Composite Bricks, which are going to need... Was it Sand for the Pink Bricks? Sand, Mysterious Dust, and Pink. So let's grab... So that's six is... Then we're going to need six bone meal and six red dye. Let's take a look in here. Oh, we actually have four pink composite bricks already. So that'll make things way easier on us. If we put two pink dye, uh, was it two bone meal and two sand? Nope. My memory is not doing so well here today. Ah, mysterious dust. That's what it was. Put this back. Let's go harvest some Mysterious Dust. Uh, now you'll note, the way I have things for this world, uh, I fall off the edge quite a bit. Uh, so be very careful. Uh, the number of times I've fallen into lava and had to get into this pool of water between this episode and last, uh, not, not a number I'm going to go ahead and disclose. <laughs> it's been a lot, though. So throw our water in an... Throw our pink composite in an infinite water source. And then toss it in the lava. Now we have our bricks. And we can craft our solid fuel arrow heater once we have an Asul block. Come back up here and grab this. Alright, now we can craft it. Come over here, left click, solid fuel arrow heater. Alright, now this guy is a little bit different from our arrow heater down there. This one is going to use resources. You can't actually get into the inventory of the one down there because it doesn't have one. Uh, let's eat a bit of fudge. Yum, yum, yum. All right. Now that we crafted that, it's going to give us 16 charcoal as a reward. And we're going to have to wait until we get ceramic. To get ceramic, we're going to need an explosion furnace. Which is just going to need some stone and our flint and steel. Which, flint and steel is down there. So let's grab, I believe that was eight. Looks like it. Craft that into stone bricks. Uh, put those things back. Not sure if we had gravel on us, but I know we had cobble. Come back down here to grab our flint and steel. And take our stone bricks. Uh, does it need to be, it might need to be, it might need to be an undamaged set of flint and steel, it looks like. So, let's do this. Put this back, we'll need that later. Did forget about that. It's been a little while since I've crafted one of these. So, let's grab a piece of iron and a piece of clay, or not clay, a piece of flint, make a new piece a flint and steel and now explosion furnace now one other thing we're gonna need uh, is a piece of cobble and a stick come down here to grab a stick eventually all of our stuff will be moved up to the top uh, but we need to get a bit of the ways into the pack before that's gonna be the case here we go 
Let's get another bit of fudge. And we'll take a look at... We need to make some gunpowder. Well, gunpowder... Uh, does it not have it here? Ah, yes. Gunpowder comes from red flint, which is just two flint and some red flowers. Let's take four of these red flowers and we're going to put them in the rotary grinder because the rotary grinder is going to give us two per instead of one per. And I'll be honest, it's no fun to bone meal the grass just to try and get flowers. All right, grab that. Uh, while we're waiting on this, I'm going to actually go harvest some more of this mysterious dust. This, again, will be important as you go through the pack, so might as well grab it while you got it. We're going to go over here and grab this as well. Oop. Well, that's all we got. Oh, actually, I did not realize that you can break this like that. Hmm. Fairly certain it had said that you needed to use shears. All right, is this done? It is. All right, so now we have eight of this. Let's run upstairs. We're going to make 16 red flint. Uh, that's enough. Nope. Uh, we need 16. Eight here. Eight of each there. And now we're going to run back downstairs. And we need to throw this under this guy. Uh, we'll probably make more of this fairly shortly. Can I? Thank you. And gunpowder. Let's grab some bread, eat a little bit of that. And... Gives us eight sand. Next thing we need is ceramic ingots. These are made. Four iron and one clay makes four ceramic ingots. Now, one of the important things, and let's grab our Prodigy Tech book. Uh, take a look here. Uh, is it? Nope, not this one. It is this one. Getting started. In order to progress in Prodigy Tech, you'll need to make ceramic in an explosion furnace. First, collect materials, iron, sand, gunpowder, and clay. Once you have enough of them, you can use it. Well, how does it work? Its GUI is split into four parts. On the left, you have two vertical slots, the explosive slot at the top, and the dampener. Well, the way this is going to work is you're going to put five gunpowder in the explosion slot, four sand, 16 iron, and four clay in there. So five gunpowder, four sand, 16 iron, and four clay. Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to take this guy and put him right here and be careful when we use it. All right, so we need, uh, oh, we already had plenty of sand. So one, two, three, four, put that away. We need 16 of this. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's come over here. Four sand. Five gunpowder. 16 iron. And we'll just grab a block of clay, because that counts the same as four clay. Come over here, place it inside, and flick the lever. Gives us 16 ceramic. Look at that, guys. Gives us more red flint to make some more gunpowder. And then we get into the solder. What we'll do is next time when we come back, we're going to get into this quest line and this quest line and hopefully finish up chapter two. I will see you guys next time. I hope you had a good time. We got quite a bit of progress done in this pack. I don't expect there will be too much work in between this episode and the next one. Uh, there's not really anything I can think of that needs to be done. So I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.